Good morning, this is Jason Dean coming live at you again for a much delayed Film Fanatic show. It's been it's been a while since I've done a show, so it's been uh, almost a week. Uh, I just had a lot, of, a lot of things going on, hadn't really been able to have the time to uh, put up some new shows. About a week ago, or I should say a little bit, it's been a little bit less than a week, but I don't know, it was probably about four or five days I did. A series of videos but just schedule stuff and with some shows and gigs and things I just didn't have the time really to uh, put up videos usually I do the videos in the morning but there were a few shows that I had that were daytime shows and I had to kind of leave uh, you know on the on the earlier side in the morning so I got a little bit of a of a of a little break here and so I'm back to making some more movie uh, reviews show movie review shows so I'm really excited uh, tonight I am going to go see finally finally going to go see the uh, the new Ty West movie Maxine I have been uh, dying to see this movie and I'm gonna go see it tonight so I will I will definitely do a review for for this movie it's part of the I think one of the best probably the best and I also think the most really important franchise that's around uh, and that is from Ty West he has directed uh, directed X and then Pearl and then Maxine which is the third in the trilogy starring Mia Goth so very very excited I just think that X and Pearl are just amazing films so very excited to see where this goes to see where where the conclusion kind of arrives and the whole whole thing so so stay tuned for that there will be a review coming up uh, probably tomorrow tomorrow morning or so so today's show is on a movie that I've actually been wanting to get to and um it was yeah it was in June when I went Opera House Video which is the one and only video rental place in the entire state of Maine. Uh, a beloved place for me. They uh, they have these uh, street sales. And I've been... And I went... They had one last month, actually, in June. And I got... Got to go to it, but I didn't have... A whole lot of time to spend shopping there. Because I did have to catch a ferry in the late or early morning or late early afternoon so I didn't have all that much time but I was able to still score and get some really fantastic movies and speaking of which Opera House Video since I just brought up Opera House Video uh, we're gonna be playing a special uh, set with Quantum we're gonna be playing in in the store this uh, coming Saturday at uh, noon and it's gonna be a different kind of a set I think for us and a different kind of a show they I've been friends with Dennis Howard the owner and I've known him for uh, many many years and so during the uh, the, the way this whole, whole idea came about was the um, a couple months ago in May they had the All Roads Festival which is a big music festival that comes to Maine every summer and they had uh, Dennis had decided to use the the store the store itself as a kind of a makeshift venue and they had a few different groups play inside there and he said it was really successful and he was telling me about it. I had seen video of it on online and I was like oh wow that's that's kind of a cool thing like that's a pretty cool idea and and then we were talking about how it was and he seemed really happy with it and then he expressed a real deep interest in trying to like actually turn opera house video to a degree into like a music venue where he would have featured acts because this you know this first time doing it went over pretty well and so we were talking about that for a while and then i had this idea in my head well what about like if we did a quantum show there that might be kind of interesting and he was totally into the idea so we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna do one show here in July, and then we have another show in August. We're gonna be playing at Opera House Video, 
and I thought, cool, like this this is a cool idea, and in some ways, in in, in some ways, it's almost like a uh, a dream come true because I've talked a lot about my band Quantum, and we have you know my for for the band my biggest influence, you know, along with having all kinds of musical influences, my biggest influences are film in that band the the aesthetics the soundtracks all aspects of of films are a deep uh influence on the band and i think movies have even a bigger influence on me uh or uh, act as a bigger influence on me than say like traditional uh, albums or traditional bands if you if you if you will so i was like wow what what better way to kind of show that um to show that deep appreciation than to actually play at a video store, you know, the Opera House video. So I'm really excited about that. So if you're around, check it out. It's a free show, and it should be it should be a fun little adventure. And so today's show is on one of the movies that I bought, or movies, I should say, that I bought at Opera House Video during their big street sale in June. And that is a really cool... I've gotten a couple of... I uh, actually have quite a few of these packages, and it's a double feature, and... It's the Midnight Movie series. Really, really cool. I have quite a few of these on DVD. This is a DVD collection, and it's got two Roger Corman movies. Who Roger Corman is, you know, he's one of my heroes. He's one of my my people that I look up to. Uh, I love, love, love his movies. I also look at him as a as a big source of inspiration. My favorite movie of his is The Mask of the Red Death. Mask of the Red Death is also included. These are two Edgar Allan Poe movies. He worked uh, for a long time with horror icon Vincent Price, and he directed, he adapted many of Poe's uh, stories to to the to the big screen. And Roger Corman is <clears throat> just a legend. He recently just passed away. Um, he's a legend in the world of of B movies, uh, and especially in the world of like horror exploitation, he did so much for so little. He also really, you know, was pivotal in bringing bringing up and bringing all of these major directors into, uh, you know, onto onto the big stage as far as filmmakers. You know, you have major directors like Martin Scorsese. Uh, John Carpenter, James Cameron, um, Francis Ford Coppola. I mean, the list is kind of endless. Um, you know, Joe Dante. So many amazing directors and how and some of the most popular directors and some of the most successful directors all came through the Roger Corman world of exploitation, whether they... It was initially a lot of the times their first gig, their break, and they they you know worked as either producers or they worked on you know the effects, practical effects in some of his films. They got a chance to direct uh, movies. They kind of built their whole um, you know all of their their skill set through Roger Corman. And I have this is a really great collection. It, it has actually some cool special features which I have never seen before, and I don't think they're included on the Blu-ray because I have *Mask of the Red Death*. I have that on Blu-ray, and it's simply spectacular. It's a work of art. It's high art. One of the greatest movies I think ever. My favorite Roger Corman movie ever. Best thing he's ever directed, I think. The, uh, my favorite Vincent Price um, performance. There's also on this disc the the other. I think masterpiece from Roger Corman, the Premature Burial, of course, based on an Edgar Allan Poe story, and it's an amazing movie. It's a really beautiful transfer. Super excited! I got this movie for like, um, I don't know, it was like two bucks on DVD. I don't own Premature Burial, and it's been it's been years since I've seen it, and it's hard to believe. Uh, it's such an incredibly dark tale. It's. Uh, you know, it's 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 a film about obsession, the uh, you know kind of our how we grapple with the notion of immortality. It's just amazing, 
And it's hard to believe, like, watching this movie, I watched it last night, it's hard to believe this came out in six, 1962, and it's like, it's so ahead of its time. Uh, Ray Milland is in it, of course, an iconic actor in Hollywood. Um, Hazel Court, Richard, Richard Ney, Alan Napier, <clears throat> Heather An Angel, and Dick Miller. Uh, of course, Dick Miller, uh, another iconic actor who has worked on all kinds of movies. He was also, I believe, the star in Bucket of Blood, which is another movie that was directed by Roger Corman, which is another uh, amazing, amazing film. And yeah, just just amazing. And I have not, I had not seen uh, Premature Burial in so many years. Um, I have quite a few Roger Corman movies on DVD and VHS. I have like quite a few movies that he directed. He also produced uh, tons and tons of movies and also directed tons of movies. But I think Premature Burial is definitely one of his best movies. It is, uh, it's a cautionary tale, I think, too. It's, but it's super dark. And again, it's, it's mind-blowing when I think that this film came out in uh, 1962. I mean, just so ahead of its time uh, on so many levels. Not only, like, the, um, the darkness about the darkness of the story, but just, I think, from a technical standpoint, it's so well-directed. There are um, all of these sequences that it's amazing that they were able to pull off in the year of 62. There's like these dream sequences. The cinematography is beautiful. The music is great. The performances are wonderful. Um, you know, and the thing that's so cool is it's all, uh, the sets are all built, you know. And so you feel like you're totally immersed in, in the universe that you're, that you're witnessing. And... It's total immersion, and everything feels lived in. You know, that's one of the problems now with a lot of movies, is with blue screen and, 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 and what have you, and the, uh, the overabundance of computer-generated effects, CGI, a lot of the times things just don't feel lived in. And these are like set pieces. Uh, they, f they almost feel like theatrical versions of the films uh, in, 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 say, a play form. Just amazing. Everything that you see on screen is is real and um, an amazing film. And I can't recommend it enough. It would be really cool to buy this movie on Blu-ray. Definitely, I will definitely keep my eyes peeled, but a masterpiece. It's hard to believe it came out in 62. So, so thanks again, and we will see you next time. Peace.